holy crap what <clears throat> I just want to show where we eat or where we are far away on the uh, out of I don't know exactly where I am right now this is a place I just feel cold in here man it's not even out here I feel cold out here that's correct that's the way to say I feel cold here everybody's leaving me away um yeah so we're basically going to see where Victoria is doing a research because she's doing a master's degree in um uh, how do you call this that plants and uh, she will explain exactly what she's doing. I'm just going to and ask her exactly what she's doing masters and what but uh, what I know is she's kind of collecting plants from this place take to Copenhagen the uh, university where she is studying and analyzing all the plants that she is collecting from this area take to the world and stuff like that so um, yeah uh, if you get a chance to talk to her to explain exactly what she's doing and yeah she will explain to all of you about the master's degree that she's doing thank you and see you soon oops <laughs> there was a ball come from all the way from the other side. Yep. That is no fighting over there between uh, all those people. It's no fighting. can make some grill in here barbecue as they say in South Africa barbecue nice grill all right but it's too cold to, to do grills here what else do you have here mountains hills lakes ocean ocean is right there. let me show you people right here man the snow is just falling down uh, I don't know how long can I survive in here <clears throat> I'm getting sick now my voice completely changed ah yes let me show you the place we were inside right now having lunch that was really delicious lunch we had a soup I was right there in this beautiful house right here there's a reggae way there Fair. you can see here the oceans or the ocean all right I can see here <clears throat> let me see here what we have down here There is restriction, you cannot go further. There is a, a gate where it says, Please don't come here, don't cross here. This is a beautiful ocean, snow is still falling down. Oh my, my! All right. Let me go back. See if we can go or we can head in.
This is long walk. This is the long walk to freedom. Into twice or every time. No, they come and they chew. They come and they chew. Hi, Hilde. Look like a cigarette you had in there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just my pin to allow me to touch pen exactly. It's not a cigarette. What it is, my touch pen. Here it is. Yeah. Yours in it. Do we have to show our passports? No. Oh, okay. It's just a free. Ah, do I have to show my passports? Yes. <laughs> it's not. It's not among the 60, 68 countries. That no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it stops here. Switzerland. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Lung Hai Land. We don't need to show passports. Lud Cullen? Why do they have to put all these gates? This is owned by the state or is a private property? Alright. But are they allowed us to come in and stuff like that? Huh? They allow us to come in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is completely open to the public. So All right. Fully, fully but there's some of your own. Yep. Yeah. I have them on a car. But is this for agriculture yeah. papers or what is... This is what? Agriculture papers? Uh, I guess you can call it. It's both very a unique and rare nature type. Yeah. With these plants. All right. But uh, <laughs> the sheep <laughs> is produced wool and the meat. Okay. The skin and the bones. So it's something like this. Det her din mother? Det er nok mine. Everybody's Ja, ja, men der er der, der eksperimenterer med dem. Ja, uh, yeah, altså det, er jo, det her projekt, det er jo noget, der er startet sidste år, så det er Sige, der har alt, altså she's got all the, um, hvad er det, credit for making this happen. So you're only allowed to take the mosses yeah. from yeah. Yeah. So places where it's not affecting. Uh, there's like three quadrants that I can't take, yeah. but yeah. this quadrant right here, there's, you'll see there's like little uh, strips of plastic on some of the... Oh, the blue strips down there. 
Yeah, the blue sticks, exactly. And this is, um, so the plant that's growing here and everywhere around this one. But is this specific plants or what? Yeah, because the, this nature type, you'll yeah. see all this that you see around you here. This is called the uh, Coluna vulgaris and it's heather. Okay. And we're checking to see how drought is affecting the plant. Really yeah. There's yeah. been drought. But drought is in, like, it still rains almost 300 days a year, but uh, there's not enough snow during the winter. Um, so, right here, Siri's got some, she's measuring, like, how much they grow each year. So, she puts a plastic strip. Who is she? She's a PhD student from okay. Bergen. Yeah. And she came to Denmark to bring some of her samples because we've got some better equipment in Copenhagen. So, she was testing something out. All right. So, you guys are working together then? Yeah. All right. Because she's looking at all the, all the, um, the, because mosses are kind of a special category of plant. So she's looking at everything else, and I'm looking at every, all these little guys. Yeah. I mean, there's like, so on that island over there, there's like a crazy moss study where they found 58 species of mosses. Right. So there's lots of different species here. Um. Did they find some new ones? No. No. Okay. So there's Pretty no Victoria moss. No. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I wish. Oh, I wish. Uh, the no, grape no. moss. Yeah. Grape moss. <laughs> uh, that would be lovely. Yeah. No, I've got, I mean, from the, because I, I took, I, pl I have 135 samples, all in all, from this island. And I've got around 10 to 12 different species. But if I were to, like, like, basically be the doctor and check how each of them, like, it's like each of you are an individual, and you have each your own way of reacting oh, to you. things, mm. then I'd be like, how are you doing? Well, you look like this. And you are gonna react like that. Okay, cool. Then I've got understood you. But then I've got to go over here, and uh -oh. I'm gonna figure you out. And okay, how do you react? And tag. And tag. And and this stuff takes eons. Like if I were to do that for ten to twelve species, I'd have worked for like five years. <laughs> so I'm looking at one species, but I've still in my mind got uh, the other species. <laughs> I'm still like on the side looking at them, <laughs> but I'm doing like this whole very like <laughs> stringent protocol for one because or else I would just be lost in it <laughs> All right. and it's anyways it's the one that's the most common here and there aren't really any rare well there's maybe a couple of rare species but, but I mean all these all these uh, I don't know how to call it is hmm? Yeah, they've got the same or different species? It, that's the thing that's what we're interested in figuring out because... I guess um, the squares are just put randomly. Just put randomly like put so okay. The squares are just put and then yeah. you're testing whatever's growing inside yeah. of the yeah. square. So you see like that one, the furthest one over there? Yeah. That one, these things are much closer. Okay. So that's simulating 90% drought and this is these are spaced 50%. So that's 50% drought. So it could be, we think that the more drought there is, there's going to be other species that are happier in yeah. that condition than others. So at some point, when there's been enough drought, you'll see new species coming in, other ones dying. So that's what we're trying to see. <coughs> and then how does that, like how does that affect this plant? Because hmm. they, they need certain conditions. All right. And we've actually had here on the island, which is completely new and a bit <coughs> tragic, because there's been a, a special beetle mm -hmm. that has uh, attacked this plant. And after it's attacked it, it's dead. It can't really regenerate. No so we're trying to keep a track and understand why is the beetle here? Mm. Um, and does that have to do with the drought, for example? Um, 
But it's really hard because nobody even knows anything about that beetle. So we had one expert beetle guy come up and try to find them yeah. where they were hibernating during the winter. And he couldn't even find them. Yet we know they're the soil. <coughs> during the summer, there'll be like huge patches that have just, you can tell, um, the beetle has just eaten all the leaves. And um, so we know they're there. But the grave bits. No, it's a um, lungblau beetle. A lungblau beetle. It's more rare beetle than the grave bits. No. Or no, I mean, it's, it's much more common down, like but further okay, down but south. But up here, it's, it's not common. It, it really hasn't come to know much. It's a pretty one, yeah. It's a really common one. Well, it does. All right. Those people. People. Yeah. yeah. Like the like the car. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the one. That's the one. Oh. That's right. Oh. That's right for the family album. Let me see. This is cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What are you studying anyway? What? What are you studying? What am I studying? Yeah, you're studying is nature. Well, I guess. Now, like this thesis is heathland ecology. Yeah. Heathland is this type of nature that we're standing in, oh, yeah, which is characterized by this so heather here. plant. Heathland. Oh, ah, yeah. um, all right. And ecology just means how does the ecosystem work? Yeah. Yeah. So. Cool. Didn't you date the logger? Uh, did I date him? Did I date him?